Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Queso Builds, and in this video, I wanna share with you what I recently found on Amazon. All right, to continue on my whole beginners in 3D printing uh, saga, I have just been noticing a lot of people asking, what is the best filament we can use? You know, what, what, what's the best? And I don't think there really is a best. I think what you need to look for when you're beginning 3D printing and just in any 3D printing in general is what's the cheapest and gets the job done. And I think I have found that through Amazon. And the film that checks the boxes for me, cheap, reliable, is Sunlu. Uh, this Sunlu bundle I got off Amazon recently was 10 spools for $120. That makes it out to be $12 a spool instead of paying 16 to 30 dollars a spool depending on what brands you get and i haven't noticed any differences so with that being said let's check out some of my prints that i've made recently using sunlu pla filament so the first model i'm going to show you is a pikachu from hex 3d uh, it's a knitted model and so the texture of the surface is going to be a little bit different um, but let's look let's take a deep look this is all sunlu pla filament Try and catch any inconsistencies. Let's look at the cheeks real fast, see if you can see it in the light. Um, there's really hardly any layer lines, and I know it has to do with layer height, but um, there's no zits or major imperfections on this print itself. There might be a little bit of stringing in certain places, um, but overall, there's not much, and you can take care of minor stringing with a heat gun or a lighter and make quick work of it. I had to do zero post-processing on this and I like the way it turned out. Next one, same thing, it's a knitted print, uh, this time in purple, white, and pink. No inconsistencies on the surface. Everything is exactly how it should be and it came out great. The next one I'm gonna show you is this light box. I don't have any LEDs in it right now uh, it's just the box itself, but what I want to show you is the the surface quality of this. And I know this was the the face of this was on the build plate itself, um, but that should speak to the amount of squish, the and adhesion to the build plate that it had. This is very uh, workable PLA filament. It's not a whole lot uh, different than any other filaments that I've noticed. Um, it just ended up being a nice overall quality piece. Uh, there's no individual layer lines that I can pick out. I'm gonna pull it off right here and just kind of maybe hold it up to the camera. Uh, you can kind of see it's flat. Uh, this is just the face. But if you look, and I'll try to get close here to the camera, um, you can't really see any layer lines. I'm gonna try and catch the light here and show you. There is one inconsistency and upon further inspection, it's the lettering of the build plate and that's my fault for build placement. Um, but other than that, I can't really spot any minor uh, layer lines on the bottom, on the surface um, of this print. And that's fantastic, especially for light boxes. You want consistency. This is gonna be a lamp and I want it to be the best lamp that it can be and the highest quality lamp. And I think it checked all the boxes. It worked out great. So Sunlu PLA has an excellent range of colors. This is red and white and brown with this one. With you printing in Sunlu, you wanna use the majority of your prints in Sunlu because that's the cheapest. But if you wanna to go to a higher quality, and I'm gonna use quotations there, quality, because I think it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, if you want to go to a different brand, then feel free to mix and match. But the majority of your print should try to be in Hatchbox. Um, this portal right here was an Everyone PLA. That's a tricolor. The astronauts done in white Sunlu PLA. Here's the PLA right there. If you've never used tricolor, go for it. But the bulk of what I'm using is Sunlu PLA. And that's what you should try to go for is use the bulk of what you're doing to be the cheapest but most reliable PLA that you can find. So now I'm going to show you what I got for $12 each uh, in this unboxing. And like I said before, I'm going to link in the description where I got this from off Amazon. Uh, and every so often it's going to go on sale and 
I encourage you buy bundles. It's cheaper to do that. So the first thing I go for is a black PLA because what I mostly do my props in is black because I'm going to painting, I'm going to be painting over these props. And so the color underneath doesn't really matter. And black tends to be the cheapest color PLA. You can usually find this by itself for about $14. But since I bought it in the bundle, again, it's $12. So the auxiliary colors that came would be green, purple, and orange. And I don't go through a whole lot of these colors. They last me about half a year. I typically, when I'm using the AMS system, if I can cut these colors in automatically instead of having to paint these details, I'll do that. And these colors are typically those minor details that are added onto a print. Unless I'm printing, you know, another Pokemon that's purple. Uh, it's purples. Nah, I'm not going to go through a whole lot of purple. So here are three colors I go through a lot of. We have yellow, blue, and red. Um, I could probably, I don't know, keep this for about two months uh, before I need to order more. Um, but in the bundle, make it $12. If you buy it by itself, it's around $16 to $20 with Sunlu. Um, so, you know, everything counts and you can save a lot a little bit more uh, When I find that I save uh, On PLA and I'm not spending 20 to 30 dollars uh, for uh, a higher I don't know, qual Quality PLA. I feel like it's all the same, but um, I Feel less bad about using the AMS system and how much you know people tend to talk about the waste and all that of the AMS and I, I don't feel too bad when I don't spend, you know, $30 on a roll of filament. The last one that I got is this gray right here. Um, gray is a great color too. Uh, it's kind of that one that you can maybe paint over, um, make a sword blade out of. But I got gray with it. So these are the main color colors besides just like white, black, gray that I got with my bundle. Um, and you know, it was a pretty good selection. And with these bundles as well, you you can pick yours. This, like I said, this just happened to be the one on sale. If I didn't want to get one with two blacks and two whites in there, um, then I wouldn't have done that. I would have gone for more color options. Okay, but since I go through black and white filament a lot, I got that one. So like I said before, I'll be sure to link these uh, bundles in the description of where I found them on Amazon. Another trick you can kind of use too, if you have an Amazon card, um, this will give you an additional 5% back when you buy and that adds up over time um, to just to buy more filament and in a hobby where you know you need to have filament to be able to do what you want to with it uh, just you need to buy as much as you can for the cheapest amount uh, don't get me wrong I started off with Hatchbox and Hatchbox is a great brand um, but it, it, it costs more and that's that's where I kind of just started to go away from it and go to Sunlu. Sunlu is cheaper, but I got the same results. Um, I've never had any issues, no tangling. Uh, I've had, I didn't have to stop any prints. Uh, I've never seen any major shifts or uh, zits or anything like that. That might be more on the printer side. You might say, hey, he has an X1C. He doesn't have to worry about that. But I mean, I my first printer was an Ender 3. Um, and I saw inconsistencies with an Ender 3 uh, with Hatchbox, you know. Um, and then I moved to an Ender 5 Plus, and then I started to go to Sunlu and Hatchbox at the same time. And when I did that, and I used the both both on the same machine, um, they it looked the same. I couldn't tell any difference. And so if you can get a cheap filament that does the same thing as the expensive filaments, do that. Don't buy the brand just because it's the brand. Um, Sun lose a great filament. Give it a shot if you want. Um, if this video has helped you in any way, throw me a like, subscribe, share my videos. Um, comment down below what you want to see more of. Um, I want to do a beginner's kind of playlist. I want to do a cosplay playlist. But let me know what you think. What would you like to see more of? Thanks for watching my video. I'm Queso Builds.